Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're planting a couple of trees. It's the um, American native pawpaw, which um, is completely new for me. I've had it for about a year now, or actually oh, nine months in a pot, that, that pot there. And today's the day we're gonna put it in the ground. And because these guys require uh, a pollinator we had, to, we had to get two so there's number two there two two different varieties so I just finished digging the holes I got the the plants out of the pot and um, now I'm gonna show you guys basically how easy it is to dig here check out the soil this is the soil that I'm dealing with here in uh, Melbourne, in my um, part of Melbourne. As you can see, all the way down to one meter. This is three feet of depth. This is what I'm dealing with for three feet. Yeah. And it took me only about 10 minutes to dig each hole, as opposed to half an hour or more with clay and what I usually do I mix in some um, gypsum which is a, a clay breaker this is always good I've come down to the end now I don't have much left that's just to make sure the drainage is working optimally and I mix in there with its own native soil a little bit of premium potting mix which is already broken down it's a combination of different things um, four months of feeding growth stimulant and what's that trace elements okay so mix it all in and uh, backfill I just backfill with the um, native soil that's all done guys all done that took me about one hour 45 minutes to one hour to do this tree this pawpaw as you can see I used up most of the soil all gone almost and this one just got done doing this one now some of you will say but isn't it too close to the neighboring trees that's the uh, avocado this is a Bing cherry and that's a, a plum full-size plum but I keep it dwarf sized and full height plum 16 years old the one I pruned a couple of weeks ago so if you go back you'll see the pawpaw is like very tightly squeezed in between four these four trees this um, part here is a persimmon uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one yet maybe leave it in the leave it in the pot for another year so I'll just move this out of the way and we have a lemon tree there bananas here and full-size cherry tree there so uh, what do you guys reckon too tight yeah of course it's too tight it's obvious that it's too tight but guys, when you're limited in space, that is when you want to have over a hundred fruit trees, you gotta squeeze them in. You gotta squeeze them in. Yep. So if they're touching, just keep clipping them on the edges. 
every year. Not a big deal. Unless it's a big deal for you, then don't do this. Don't do it. Okay guys, so that was it. Easy, inexpensive. You don't have to use this premium potty mix by the way. Just a little compost will do. Which means it'll cost you maybe a dollar or two to do both trees. Very cheap. So, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, end of winter planting of the Native American pawpaw tree. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be waking up any day now. Any day. These guys will come to life. And then we're going to have to wait another two years for this to fruit. Yep, it's a four year wait. So again, with this hobby, pastime, whatever you want to call it, business, if you want to make money, you've got to be patient. You've got to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for many more exciting videos coming in spring. Spring is coming at the end of next week here in Australia. And boy, oh boy, I'm so excited. Later. I hear some of you saying, oh my God, he screwed up. The water is not draining. Guess what? This is normal, guys. Almost every time you plant a, a tree into a new hole, you're going to have water sitting just like this. Don't panic. It can take up to 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes, even 30 minutes for the water to drain the first time you water in the new tree. So it's been about hmm, 10 minutes and I'm still waiting. However, 15 minutes ago, I did this one first, five minutes earlier before the other one and as you can see it's all gone every drop gone you can see the line see the line where it was when I put the water in it dropped all that so each time you water it each time it rains it's gonna get um, the drainage will improve each and every time and after a month not even a month after two weeks the water will be draining away within two to three minutes okay just as a reminder don't panic as long as you have the um, the soil prepared correctly or um, the soil is well draining to begin with over and out.